So children, we discuss today respiration in human beings. Okay, children, respiration in human beings. So coming to the respiration in human beings, how? So check the figure, children, first. I will be drawing the figure along with the explanation. So. The space present in the nose is called nasal cavity. When I was explaining digestive system, I told you the space present in the mouth is called buccal cavity. The space present in the nose is called nasal cavity. Please make it audible. The space present in the nose is called nasal cavity. In the nose, we have two things. One is hair, and another one is mucous membrane. Mucous membrane. What is the function of hair? It prevents dust particle entering inside. It prevents dust particle entering inside. What is the function of mucous membrane? It makes the air which we breathe warm. It makes the air which we breathe warm, children. Okay. So, why a warm air is needed, means children? If a cold air enters into lungs, we suffer from infection, bacterial infection. So always we have to breathe with mouth. Don't breathe with mouth. Some people have bad habit of breathing with mouth. Okay, mouth cannot warm the air. Nose can warm the air. You breathe in and breathe out, children. You can only feel that the air which we are breathing becomes warm. Okay, and warm air is very good, children. When it enters the lungs. Okay, so this is nasal cavity, children, and the things which are present in the nose. Hair and mucous membrane. Hair prevents dust, and mucous membrane warms the air. Air prevents dust, and mucous membrane warms the air. Then, from the nasal cavity, air enters into pharynx. Pharynx is a common passage for both food and air. I told you in the initial. Then, <coughs> and then children, from the uh, pharynx, air enters into larynx. Then, at this junction, you get doubt, sir. When you are telling digestive system, you told this as esophagus. Now, today, you are telling larynx. How is it possible, sir? Okay, so children. Actually, larynx children, which is there here, will be in collapsive structure. The larynx, which I'm talking, will be in collapsive structure. The larynx, which I'm talking, will be in collapsive structure. Like this collapse. Collapse means like a deflated balloon. When balloon don't have a, how it will deflate like that? It means collapsive state. It will be present. Larynx will be in collapsive state. Okay. And what about the larynx? Is larynx is also called as voice box. Larynx is also called as voice box. Okay, sir. Larynx has vocal cords in it. Larynx has vocal cords which vibrate, and when we are talking, they produce sound. It is because of larynx only we are able to talk, children. Okay, larynx has vocal cords. The vocal cords vibrate when we talk, and they produce sound. The larynx in the parrot is called pharynx, children. Syrinx. The larynx in the parrot is called syrinx. Okay, so it can also talk children because it resembles the same human being larynx with the children. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so next one. One second. Okay, next one. Larynx. Larynx is called voice box. It has vocal cords. Why do you The opening of the larynx is called glottis. Opening. Opening of the larynx is called glottis. Opening. Okay, and this opening is covered then by epiglottis. This opening is covered by epiglottis. Epiglottis. Epiglottis is also called as Adam's apple. Epiglottis. If you see on your neck, children, a protrusion will be there. That is a glottis and epiglottis. Okay. Now, the this is esophagus, and in esophagus near the tension of the larynx will be in collapsive state. When you breathe air, when you take put air, how the balloon will become. Strong children, stiff like the police. Larynx will have to enter the position, enter the position of this esophagus also, and air enters into larynx. If food, air, if air is not coming, it will collapse. If air is coming, it will bulge. If air is not coming, it will collapse. If air is coming, it will bulge. If air is not coming, it will collapse. When will air not come, sir? Always air will come, no sir. You will tell. Always will breathe, no sir. Children, you will not breathe during one time. Can anyone say which time you won't breathe? While eating. 
while swallowing the food the children not while eating while swallowing the food while swallowing the food no one will breathe if you want you breathe and check children now when you are breathing your tongue when you are breathing your tongue will when you are swallowing your tongue will burn press the upper jaw upper jaw will press the nose you can't breathe if you want you see children all of you swallow and see swallow the saliva and see you can't breathe when you are taking the food it will go to your esophagus when you are breathing air larynx will occupy the entire position when you are eating the food larynx will collapse when you are taking the air larynx will occupy the entire position so normally larynx will be in collapsed state larynx will be collapsed state okay sir next larynx leads to okay sir larynx leads to larynx leads to trachea larynx leads to trachea trachea is famously called as wind pipe Larynx, the trachea is called famously windpipe children and uh, children this trachea children larynx is in collapsed state but trachea need not to be in collapsed state it's gone esophagus from back is going to stomach and larynx is coming to trachea trachea to prevent collapse it has c-shaped cartilage of this okay trachea to prevent collapse to prevent the collapsing this is in collapsed state but trachea will be stiff trachea to prevent the collapsing of trachea it has c-shaped cartilaginous ring c shaped cartilaginous rings that if you want uh, you can press and see children at the junction of your neck uh, down two bones there is one gap in the, between the gap you with this finger you just do like this and see you can feel its rings at the junction of your neck bottom okay just feel do like this up and down on the neck children you can feel this uh, trachea has c shaped rings you can feel children so trachea do not collapse why in board exam millions of times they ask children so trachea do not collapse because it has c shaped cartilaginous rings trachea do not collapse why because it has c shaped cartilaginous rings trachea do not collapse why because it has c shaped cartilaginous rings uh, and each trachea divides uh, sorry trachea divides into two bronchi trachea divides into two bronchi trachea divides into what children two bronchi see here this is one bronchi that is one bronchi that divides into two bronchi okay each bronchi enters into one lung chamber each bronchi will enter into one lung chamber each bronchi it enters into one lung chamber this also enters into one lung this also enters into one lung here one lobe will be there for the heart chamber heart heart will be present at this and both the lungs are resting on diaphragm chamber both the lungs are resting on diaphragm diaphragm is a muscular organ which separates abdomen and chest both the lungs are resting on diaphragm diaphragm is a muscular organ which divides chest and abdomen chest and abdomen chest and in chest lungs heart will be there in abdomen stomach uh, intestines all those things will be there children okay this is how it will be there children bronchi after entering into each lung bronchi after entering into each lung divides into several bronchioles bronchi after entering into each lung divides into several bronchioles then you will get uh, how many bronchioles sir uh, how many bronchioles means sir uh, how many alveoli are there that many bronchioles then you will get out now again what is this alveoli sir children alveoli are structural and functional units of lungs can anyone define alveoli structural and functional, functional unit of lungs can anyone define alveoli structural and structural and functional unit of lungs functional means uh, the entire structure of lung and the entire function of the lung is done by alveoli lung is nothing children lung is a bag which is holding alveoli that's all lung is nothing children lung is just a bag lung is just a bag which is holding alveoli lung is just a bag which is holding alveoli okay children so, so lung will have millions of alveoli millions of alveoli they really does the function of respiration okay so how many bronchioles are there means it how many alveoli are there that many bronchioles one one bronchiole goes to one one alveoli one one bronchiole goes to one one alveoli okay all the alveoli are present in the lungs so all the alveoli are present in the lungs lungs are resting on diaphragm lungs are resting on diaphragm lungs are resting on diaphragm what is diaphragm is a muscular organ which separates chest and abdomen is a muscular organ which uh, okay since lungs are very sensitive structure in the front they are protected by ribs in the front they are protected by ribs uh, and in the center it is protected by breast bone called sternum in the front it is protected by breast bone called sternum and at the back it is protected by vertebral column lungs are very sensitive structures children lungs are very sensitive structures okay they are protected by ribs how many ribs are there anyone in our body how many ribs are there can anyone say 
no one is telling very bad to well paid pairs of ribs are there tubal pairs of ribs are there okay chala so what are the uh, ex respiratory organs i discussed can anyone tell in the sequence first one is nasal cavity pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles alveoli lungs lungs are rest in one tap from can anyone tell can anyone repeat can anyone repeat all the structure anyone nasal cavity nasal cavity pharynx pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles trachea bronchi bronchioles alveoli lungs diaphragm can anyone any other student nasal so, cavity pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles alveoli lungs diaphragm any other student nasal cavity pharynx larynx uh, um trachea uh, trachea bronchi bronchioles alveoli lungs diaphragm any other student nasal cavity nasal cavity pharynx pharynx larynx trachea bronchi bronchioles alveoli lungs and diaphragm yeah these are the parts children now what happens children see here when we breathe oxygen oxygen comes to nasal cavity from nasal cavity it goes to pharynx pharynx to larynx larynx to trachea trachea to both the bronchi bronchioles to bronchioles bronchioles to alveoli so into the alveoli who is coming children who is coming oxygen who is coming oxygen oxygen who will take this oxygen blood blood where it will take cells cells in cells where it will give mitochondria In mitochondria, what happens? Blood gets ox oxidized. Food is getting oxidized. Food is getting oxidized to liberate carbon dioxide, water, glucose, energy. 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 Carbon dioxide, water, and then that carbon dioxide again enters into mitochondria, cells, blood, alveoli, bronchioles, bronchi, trachea, and lung, uh, larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity outside. Oxygen, nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli, blood cells, cells to mitochondria. Food is oxidized. Carbon dioxide goes to what? Mitochondria cells to blood, alveoli, bronchioles, bronchi, trachea, larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity outside. Like this, it is occurring. Okay. So this oxygen, when it is entering into blood, then who is present in the blood cell to take oxygen? One well, vehicle is present. The vehicle name is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin. Hemoglobin gives a lot of respect to oxygen. It will nicely make the oxygen to sit on it and happily form oxygen hemoglobin and gives it to the mitochondria. But while coming, whose duty to bring carbon dioxide, children? Whose duty? Hemoglobin duty, no? But it won't. While going, it will give a lot of respect to oxygen. While coming, hemoglobin won't bring it. Then how CO2 for its fate? It will dissolve in the blood. It will dissolve in the blood and comes back to alveoli. While going, oxygen nicely going on the hemoglobin, but while coming, CO2 dissolves in the blood and for its fate, it will come to alveoli. Again, from alveoli, bronchioles, bronchi, trachea, larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity goes out. Next, carbon dioxide. That is the fate of carbon dioxide. Now, children, oxygen coming, carbon dioxide going. Oxygen coming, carbon dioxide going. It is all for liberation of energy (ATP). That ATP energy is liberated during respiration. So respiration is this chill. But what is going to be breathing? Is there any word breathing, children? Breathing has two things, children: inspiration, expiration, expiration, inspiration. Expiration, inspiration, expiration, children. What is inspiration? During inspiration, we take oxygen, take air. During expiration, we release. Exhale carbon. We release air. Okay. So during during inspiration, we remember all of you listen carefully. Don't talk children in the middle. During inspiration, ribs are there in the front of chest. They go forward. During inspiration. you breathe and see ribs go forward 
ribs go forward diaphragm which is dome shaped becomes flat diaphragm becomes flat see children diaphragm diaphragm becomes flat diaphragm becomes flat and lung inside the space lung space increases when lung space increases when lung space increases what happens to the pressure inside decreases when pressure inside decreases children try to understand when pressure inside decreases outside air rushes inside outside air rushes inside outside air rushes inside this is during inspiration during expiration ribs go back backward diaphragm becomes dome shape again diaphragm become dome shape lung space decreases pressure increases in the lungs pressure increases so inside air rushes out outside. inside air rushes out this is inspiration expression inspiration plus expression is breathing breathing is not respiration respiration is release of energy breathing is taking in and giving out in respiration is giving out of energy respiration always in the lungs children certain amount of air is present children that always some amount of air whether you breathe or not in lungs some amount of air is always present children that air is called residual volume of air what is this called residual volume why sir you will residual volume why air should be there in the lungs you may get children if you forget to breathe this residual volume air will go and supply the energy then you will get out sir why you will forget to breathe sir all will be breathe when you are sleeping every time you will breathe no sir sometimes you will forget children when you are in very tense mood when you are seeing the suspense of the movie last fight you all will forget to breathe suddenly after climax you will say you will forget children sometimes you will forget at that time sometimes we will not hours together one day two minutes like that you will forget children okay at that moment at that moment children okay this residual volume of air helps in exchanging giving time of for us and all those things it will take care that's it for residual volume okay children that is called what residual volume of air okay children and this is breathing this is respiration respiration is of two types what are the two types of respiration children inspiration inspiration expiration What are the two types of respiration? We have oh, aerobic and anaerobic. Aerobic and anaerobic respiration. Please mute your audio, Swana. Aerobic means in presence of air. Anaerobic means in absence of air. Air. Okay. I will discuss this uh, aerobic and anaerobic separate video, children. Again, when time comes, just now you listen. But in DJ, I will discuss later. Okay. Aerobic releases so many ATP, children. Lot of energy. Happy. And anaerobic releases only three ATP. All most of the cells on the earth is aerobic only, children. Only few cells will undergo anaerobic like bacteria, blue green algae, blue green algae, and our muscle cells sometimes, children. Not always. Yeast. Sometimes, not always. Muscle cells also when you do lot of exercise. After that, when your uh, sufficient oxygen is not coming, muscles will undergo anaerobic respiration and releases lactic acid. Children releases lactic acid when you do severe exercise at that time. Okay, children. So this is something about the respiration. So during respiration, <coughs> oxygen enters into nasal cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveoli. In the alveoli, air is taken and gives to blood, blood to cells, cells to mitochondria. Mitochondria produces oxygen, CO2. CO2 enters back into the mitochondria, then blood, then cells, then alveoli, then alveoli to bronchioles, bronchi, uh, trachea, larynx, pharynx, nasal cavity, and goes out. This is all respiration. So respiration is a catabolic process. Catabolic. Catabolic means uh, food is broken down to liberate energy. Photosynthesis is anabolic. Anabolic means we are preparing food. We are preparing food. Preparation is anabolism. Breaking is catabolism. Respiration is catabolism because food is broken down to liberate energy. This is our respiration children. I'll upload the video with full notes in the description. Please check the notes and read properly children and diagram also practice from the textbook children. Very very important. So many times in board exam they ask also ask me diagram children. Please practice from textbook children. In the textbook even <coughs> side I will they have given. Please practice that also children. So in the description I'll put the notes. Please write the notes from the description. Thank you so much.